Sample Tank 3 provides a huge library of instruments right from the start, but you can take Sample Tank further by importing your own user samples. The process is fast and easy. Your source samples can be mono or stereo, 16 or 24 bit, and in AIF or WAV format. If you want your samples to loop, make sure that you have loop markers in the AIF or WAV files. Sample Tank 3 will read the loop markers if they are there, or play back your sounds as non-looping, one-shot samples if no loop markers are present, like in the case of drum samples. Let's import some samples. First, organize all the samples you want to include in your new Sample Tank 3 instrument into a single folder with nothing else in that folder. You must have one dedicated folder for each new instrument you want to create. Now go to the menu icon at the bottom left of the Instrument tab on the Play page and click Import Samples. This brings up a window where you can enter information about the new Sample Tank 3 instrument you're about to create. Click the Browse button and navigate to the folder where you organized your samples to import. Next, enter the name of the new Sample Tank 3 instrument that you're creating. Use standard alphanumeric characters only. The destination path defaults to the Imported Instruments folder in your Sample Tank 3 Sound Content disk path. This is where Sample Tank 3 will write the imported sample and instrument data. You can change this path if you want to put your new instrument and samples in a different location. Next, set the category for your new instrument using the Category drop-down menu. You can choose from any of the existing Sample Tank 3 instrument categories, or simply choose Imported Instruments if you prefer. If your samples are groove-based, like drum loops, set their tempo in the BPM field. This lets Sample Tank 3 synchronize your loops with the rest of the library and also accurately change their tempo with the master tempo control. Next, choose how you want Sample Tank 3 to define the root notes for your samples. If you have traditional instrument samples, like piano, bass, or synth pad, choose Name under Root Note Selection. All of your sample names must start with the note name. If you want to include additional text, you must have a space between the note name and the text, such as C1 bass, C sharp 1 bass, D1 bass, etc. Sample Tank 3 will then assign these notes as the root keys for your samples. Alternatively, if you're importing drum, groove, or effect samples, you may just want to map them chromatically across the keyboard. In this case, choose Chromatic From under the root note selection, and then set the first note where you want the samples to be mapped. Sample Tank 3 will then map all of your samples, starting from that note, going up the keyboard chromatically. When you've entered all the information in the Samples Import window, click Import to create your new Sample Tank 3 instrument. A new Sample Tank 3.st3i and .pack file will be written in your Sample Tank 3 sound content folder, and you will no longer need to reference the original samples. The new Sample Tank 3 instrument will appear in the instrument browser, and you can modify it using the edit page. You can then add up to five insert effects on any of the Sample Tank 3 pages, and then save the changes to your instrument. Your new instrument will now appear as a regular part of your library alongside the factory content and imported legacy instruments.